Okay guys, hi, welcome to my channel. Cindy here, <laughs> my Uber driver who took me in for the night so I didn't have to sleep on the streets. So Cindy is just so great to drop me off at my hotel. Thank you so much. Dropping me off at my hotel. We love great people with great hearts that love to help people. You know, this is, this is what we need more of. Not division, not separation. <laughs> my portion broke up with me. <laughs> Woke up, she was blocked. Because she because she was being a good Samaritan, said boyfriend, said she needed to be punished for being a good Samaritan, you know, slept in a completely different room. Didn't deserve that. Didn't deserve that at all. No, I didn't. See? But that's alright. So now she's dropping me off at the Hyatt, which I was supposed to go to last night, uh, but... Here. Oh yeah, you're right here. I'm looking for my car. I'm like... <laughs> Hold up. So I was supposed to be at the Hyatt, or my hotel, yesterday, but because of the time zones and the hour behind and it was late, uh, they said, we don't have no che late check-in, we don't have no check-ins for the night. We don't have any check-ins. Check-ins are uh, no, no. So I had, you know, Cindy and I had went to Wendy's. I had chicken nuggets in my pocket. I had a spicy chicken sandwich in my pocket. I had my vlog camera, two backpacks, and a drink. Getting told that there's no place I can sleep that night. So Cindy was more, more wonderful enough. She was very nice and had an extra room I could stay in. So that's what I did. And because of that, Cindy is now blocked. <laughs> that's life. Yeah, he'll get over it. I'm sorry if you hate the coffee. Oh my God, it's good, I love it. This is what? Cinnamon Dolce Latte. Oh my God, that's cool. Sounds mm -hmm. fancy. It's all right. Actually, I was on uh, Instagram Live, and one of my followers put me onto. I think her name was Kate Webby. Put me onto cinnamon dolce latte. All right. Uh, shower. Okay, so we're settled. I'm in my hotel room, and my mission is to see my aunt. My aunt, my great aunt, recently had quadruple bypass surgery. Uh, and I'm here out here experiencing the city, but also showing my love and support because I really do love this aunt. She is truly special, truly spiritual, uh, and she's just great to be around. So I just wanted to come out here and show my support. Uh, so I'm going to call her right now and try to link up, um, maybe get an Uber to her. So let's start this family roundabout. Yes. Hey, Aunt Elaine, it's Kevin. Hey, Kevin, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I am hanging in here. All right, cool. Great, so, grateful to be breathing in and out. Right, right, absolutely. Praise God. Uh, Listen, you are just blowing it up. I am, right? <laughs> and I am so very happy about that. Uh, thank you, thank you. Um, what do you what do you have planned for today? Probably not much. No, I just got some people coming over at three thirty. Why? What'd you have in mind? Uh, I was gonna come see you. I wish you would. Yeah, send me the address. Can I come over? You, you can. You're welcome in my house any day, any time, any whatever. All right. Um, let me see. I'll you, take you know the address. You're my other son. Right. <laughs> Uh, I'm at the Hyatt. I'm on May Street. I'm at like one... Why are you in a hotel? You ain't got nobody offered you a place to stay? Well, it was late last night. I'll, I'll fill you in on the details. I need to check out. I literally just checked in. Alright, so my Uber is here to take me to my aunt's. Let's see how this goes. Traffic, traffic, traffic. Hey, you hey, look good. Hey, hey for a lady that was almost dead. Huh? What's going on? Say hello. Hello. Party. What's going on? <laughs> 
Alright people, y'all need to get y'all bodies right, right. y'all minds, spirits, yes. right in order. So, she got the alkaline, alkaline water, water machine. Alright, run it down. Okay, so this is a Level Up 501. The reason why you need alkaline water is because if your body is acidic, it will never heal. Okay. I don't care what you have. Cancer, uh, high blood pressure, diabetes, you need to balance your body. Mm -hmm. So what alkaline water does, it balances so you can be healthy. Okay. Now, this machine cost me a little money, but it's worth every dime. So, it is now telling me that it's Kangen water, which is alkaline water, and it's 9.5. If I was starting off with someone new, I would give them the bottom number. Why? 8.5. Because your body is not used to alkaline, it freaks out. You want to eat first? Yeah, I'm going to eat first. Okay, I got you. My cousin right there. Y'all already know who that is. That's crazy. Just on the wall, casually. Like family, family and stuff. All we did was What do you do your um, editing with? So I edit with Premiere, Adobe Premiere. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we on the move to Best Buy right now because I need a little piece of hardware to get my videos from here to the laptop so I can edit this and bring this to y'all. So yeah, that's what we're doing. He didn't want the quick fix. Nah, not the quick <laughs> fix. We, we ain't it about longevity. <laughs> no, right. No. Cause he ain't always gonna be here right now to, to save the day, so. But, yo, so I ended up, <laughs> so I got in last night at like 11.30, and I got an Uber to go to my hotel. I was just gonna stay at the Hyatt, cause I didn't, I didn't know if I was waking anybody up, taking anybody out what they doing. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna stay here tonight, I'm gonna link up with the family tomorrow. So, it turns out the Hyatt's like, yo, you can't check in. Like, you can't check in because we don't have you registered until checking in three today. So I was like, what? And me and the, the Uber driver was mad cool. She was like a like Honduran chick, and we went and got Wendy's or whatever. So she was like, all right, well, you can just stay with me. So I ended up staying the night at her, her crib. Get the fuck I'm dead out ass. <laughs> Get the fuck <laughs> Yeah, so she, she was living by herself, but she got a boyfriend in L.A., and <laughs> she called her boyfriend and was like, yo, this guy is staying with me. <laughs> her boyfriend done blocked her. Get out of she here. Let me stay Why she with tell him? She was trying to be honest. Yeah, but sometimes you gotta let you, you know, <laughs> you, you, it's not you, like you live in there. It was one day. She ain't have to tell me, you have to know nothing. Right, I, but she was like, she you was know, he's. To be honest. Because she I knew didn't. who I was. Like, because oh, she recognized she, me from the video. Oh, and stuff. okay. So she was like, um, you know, what if what if he made a video about what happened and then you find out about it and now I'm getting caught uh, being a liar. So yeah, yeah, I'm going to just be like up front with you about it. And he was like, no, nah, no, nah, famous and everything. You just want to f***. Oh, my God. So, that is funny. Yeah, so. Uh, Mustafa got the records, man. Records on the back of porch. Man, how many years did it take you to collect these? I've been collecting for at least 30 years. Yeah. How you start DJing? You know, when uh, we first moved to Chicago, my mom would send us back to New York to stay with mama. And she lived right across the street from that park. 
and the dudes used to be out there DJing. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, snap. And he had like the kids was running around the pool. He out there DJing, everybody dancing, having a good time. And I was like, man, that's dope. And I just started buying records before I even had turntables. And I just started buying records. I think on my 16th birthday, my mom bought me the one turntable with the two tape decks. Mm -hmm. And I started mixing with the two tape decks. And then I actually got two turntables. And by the end, record, uh, uh, the marketing companies would give me records. They start giving me promo copies. Then I start DJing at the club. And that's when Kanye was at the club. I got video of him at the club dancing and shit. And uh, he, he used to come to the club and I just started collecting records. They started giving them to me, giving them to me, giving them to me. And I would still buy and I still buy today. Got the authentic brother man bear. It's number 17 out of 2000. Yeah. That's fire. <laughs> yeah. That's fire. Out of here. What do you got planned? So this is my, my twin in time. <laughs> this is Kev. Big Kev, yes, sir. the golf fireman. <laughs> yes, sir. Retired. <laughs> Retired. <laughs> Chio. Yo, my cousin Kevin got like this Millennium Falcon <laughs> of a car right now. I just turned, this just turned into a car show in 2.5 seconds. Look at, look at how the doors are. <laughs> <laughs> when did, so look, <laughs> when did this happen? What the? <laughs> what? Hey, I got Mustafa here and Kevin. I just meet my cousin for the first time. He has TVs in his back seat. This literally just turned into cribs right now. I'm screaming. <laughs> yes. The engine is on. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Kev. What? <laughs> this is pit my ride right now. Hey, make sure you your father. Maybe what? He'll, maybe he'll stretch out and go for it. <laughs> what did we just casually walk up to? This is a tank. <laughs> Yo, why the first song Kev puts on is Whispers in the Dark? Yeah, man. <laughs> what is that? Hey, what? Listen, so, <laughs> so, so in all honesty, you know, your, your, car, your car is like your studio. <laughs> So I have an eclectic amount of music in here. So all depending on how I'm feeling at the time, that's what I play on the on the on the stereo. So yeah, that's And the that's, thing is, Kev, I completely understand it. <laughs> right, see? But just I knew you would. <laughs> yeah, of course. Like I understand. I'm not saying I have a song called The Whispers in the Dark. Right. But I would not be surprised if such a song came on named that that I enjoyed. Right. So it, it all that depends on the, on the energy that you that you're projecting <laughs> at the time. Sometimes you don't want. Sometimes you want to hear some uh, uh, R and B and, and some other type of genres, and then sometimes you just want to be easy. <laughs> oh, um, all right. So first of all, Kevin just said OK Google to his car. <laughs> That's one thing I just have to note. Secondly, what planet is your Lexus dealer on? Like. Do you go to like the Disney World of Lexus dealers? Because uh, I have a Lexus dealer. I ain't never seen this taking up the real estate on this property. <laughs> you just said there's a cooler yes. in this console. It says cool box. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's insane, yo. What model is this? This is the uh, Lexus LX, the 570. LX 570. Yeah. LX570. So it's not an RX, it's an LX. So, so how it works, do they have an NX? I have the RX, NX. The GX, and then the LX. Okay. Got it. And what did you have before this? The Cadillac Escalade. Cadillac Escalade, okay. Just a better built vehicle. If you have a Lexus like you do, you made a smart choice, which I gotta have to talk to Mustafa about, you know, talking him into into purchasing a Lexus. You can drive a Lexus, Lexus is Toyota, and this is not a plug for them. But uh, 
Nah, because like you can, but you I have can, a Lexus too. Absolutely, absolutely so right. right. And you can absolutely drive a Lexus two hundred thousand miles as long as you keep the um, the the oil and transit stuff up. It, it you can you can drive these things forever. All right. So, okay. You know what? Lexus Motors. <laughs> All right. So we at the Grand Lux Cafe. What time is it? So what are you doing for the rest of the day? Nothing. Nothing with you. All right. Cool. <laughs> So I need to buy a coat. No cap, it is freezing out here. And I only... I the Atlanta was 70 something degrees. Yep. Uh, how about, you want just something, just something like Marshalls or something, right? Or... Yeah, Marshalls is fine. Okay. Okay, so Marshalls, like, she made a statement. Like, she was so sure they did not have coats. <laughs> like, have you been outside? Y'all would, y'all would make a killing profit. Really dressed like the Black Peter Parker. <laughs> that is crazy. Global warming is messing up the the fashion industry. Like it's not it's just the survival industry. Like I need a coat. It's cold. I don't need it to be in season or not. I need the item. So I thought it was going to be dark and I got blessed with great lighting. I even said, okay, all right, we're in here. The Grand Lux. Got done yourself, Kevin. I'm starting to look like Will Smith. Who's that? You. <laughs> all right. Hey, Will Smith. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we have the food here at the Grand Lux Cafe in Chicago. And this is what we're working with. about to dig into this. I mean, well, of course my dad steered me toward Lexus. Like, let's get out that out the way, whether I wanted to or not. Back in the spaceship with, <laughs> off to get a North Face. All nights like this I ride. Turn the music up to keep from crying. Look what happened. <laughs> Look what I just 